In 2011, NASA's SWIFT satellite caught an X-ray outburst from a small galaxy 3.8 billion light years away. Within a couple of days, researchers realized they were witnessing the aftermath of a tidal disruption event, a star ripped apart by the monster black hole at the galaxy's center. Some of the stellar material fell toward the black hole, forming an accretion disk and a jet pointed in our direction. Tidal disruption events offer us this rare view at the most common kind of supermassive black hole in the universe, these so-called dormant supermassive black holes. 90% of black holes in the universe don't have a lot of hot material orbiting around them. They don't form these accretion disks, and so we can't observe them. Tidal disruption events where the stellar debris causes the formation of a temporary accretion disk offers us a way to probe this population of supermassive black holes. SWIFT monitored the outburst's progress and was joined by the European Space Agency's XMM-Newton Observatory and the Japanese Suzaku satellite. Recently, astronomers introduced a new analysis technique that for the first time allows them to peer deep into the gravitational well of a normally quiescent black hole. Called X-ray reverberation mapping, the method charts the region close to the black hole using light echoes from X-ray flashes, similar to the way sonar uses sound to map the ocean floor. X-ray reverberation